Hey, what's up everybody? I'm DJ Alex Brown and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a look at Mixo and reviewing Mixo. This is a new DJ music management platform. Uh, I was personally introduced to this from a flyer at the DJ Expo um, and I think it's a really cool platform so I'm very excited to show it to you. Before we get into actually looking at Mixo, I wanna talk about just two things very quickly. First of all, the price. There is a free version and a paid version. The free version has certain features that we'll go talk about in a second. The paid version called Mixo Gold has its own set of features which are in addition to the free version. Also, before we get into talking about Mixo and actually looking at these features in action, I have to let you know what Mixo is and what Mixo does. So, like I mentioned, Mixo is really focused for DJs. Mixo can help you to organize your music library between different DJ softwares. If say you are a club DJ that uses Serato most of the time and you need to transfer cue points over to Rekordbox, Mixo can do that for you. It can also help you sync music between different devices. So between say your main laptop and your backup laptop, it can also put music into the cloud for you and sync it down to your phone or stream it from your phone, from your cloud service, um, so that you can listen to your DJ music tracks, your DJ edits, have all your cue points right on your phone. Um, so there's a lot of cool features. Again, we're gonna look at this deeper in this video, but I think this is just an awesome platform. This is super cool. When I tried this out, I said, I need to do a review for this because it's a very, very cool platform um, and it's something that I wish has been around longer um, because I've been waiting for something like this to exist for years and years and years. So without further ado, let's uh, turn around, turn the computer screen on and get right into taking a look at the desktop version of Mixer. And we'll also take a look at the mobile version of Mixo, the mobile app, towards the end of the video. All right, so here we're taking a look at the dashboard in Mixo. So here's where you can see all of your library. Um, I have to stress this is not a tutorial video. Now, as you can see on this track here, um, you can see my cue points from Serato, and I can actually use these almost like a DJ software. I just hit the space bar to pause. So really, this is a great software you can see everything you can in serato and like i mentioned at the start of the video you can use this to transfer your tracks between different software so if you are say a club dj who needs to use cdjs and you need to transfer from serato to record box that is a super cool feature i know in the past there was a platform that you could pay for to do that with but this is actually free now the way Mixo works is you basically, you will import all your tracks into Mixo and then you can you know take advantage of your crates which you can see down this side here. So these are all my Serato crates. Um, and you can you know sync this to keep this up to date. The main free tier features are syncing these crates whether it's across another device that you have um, which does not need to use cloud storage and you know all of your tracks all of your cue points all that kind of stuff just keeping it up to date now if you activate the cloud you can use your google drive or dropbox or another cloud service um, i'm just using a drive that i had some extra storage space in but they do recommend that you use a separate google drive based on the way they do it, I personally don't necessarily feel that it's necessary because um, it's set up as its own folder. It's not gonna affect any of your other files in your drive. And there's a couple different ways that you can actually use this Mixo Gold streaming type of service. First of all, you can use the cloud as a backup from your music library. Um, if say I want to add just select songs i can go through i can come over here and upload specific songs i can just check these off and then click upload um obviously you can see you can go through reanalyze tracks you can actually do and go set cue points in here all very cool features but the thing that i really want to talk about is the streaming because i think this is really important for having a backup also by the way guys mixo gold is seven dollars a month um you would also have to pay for your 
cloud storage, which uh, cloud storage is fairly cheap. Um, my music library size is, as you can see here, around 30 gigabytes. Um, and I believe iCloud Plus is like 50 gigabytes for a dollar per month. So very, very cheap um, for most cloud storage platforms. I wanna draw some comparison uh, to Spotify with this because you can actually take your physically downloaded tracks, say it's from your BPM Supreme, your Crate Connect, something like that, um, and use those across your devices to listen. And you can sync this wirelessly, you can stream the track. Um, I think those are all very cool features. Now, there are some advanced features which are, you know, you can change the folder where your downloaded music goes. This is kind of more if you're using it for uh, syncing across devices. Um, you can exclude tracks that are less than 10 seconds. That, for example, would be, you know, if you have an air horn effect or something, that's probably going to be less than 10 seconds. Um, you can go in and sync with an ex external hard drive. So there's a lot of features here. Another thing that I want to point out is the ability to um, search and remove duplicates. This will help to keep your music library clean. Um, in this case, there's only a couple duplicates here, um, but you know you can go through and check these and see where they're in playlists. And as you can see here, you can actually update the playlist when you delete the duplicated track. Um, which is super, super cool. Basically, this is one of those things that if you're not using Mixo already, you really should be. Um, just something like this, which this duplicate finder is just part of the you know regular Mixo subscription, which is free. This alone is very helpful for DJs. Um, I, you know, Mixo just in general is a very helpful music management tool. Um, and I would suggest that basically every DJ at the bare minimum use the free version. And if you can't find your music, well, it's pretty useless to you. So now I want to take a moment to show what this actually looks like in the mobile app for streaming. So here I am in my Mixo mobile app. I'm going to go back to my library. It looks very similar to, you know, basically a Spotify page or something. As you can see, I can access all of my crates from my phone and stream all of these tracks from my phone via my Google Drive that I have the tracks uploaded to. Now, right now, I don't have all of my tracks uploaded because I just wanted to get a couple uploaded for this video. But as you can see, I can go through all of my crates, all of my sub crates. Now, I really like this feature personally because when I am outside of my house and don't have my laptop, as a DJ, you know, I want to be able to browse through my crates of music from Serato, but, uh, you know, I can't sync those over to iTunes, and that's for a long time been the primary way that you get music onto your phone. So I really, really like Mixo for this purpose. So most of the desktop features are available on the mobile app, at least the ones that count. So I can see all my crates, like I mentioned. Um, I can see all my tracks. I can actually see the color banding from Serato. Uh, on the track, so that'll give me a quick visual on if it's a clean edit or not, because that's how I kind of make it visual for myself, obviously to each their own there. But, you know, to take a quick look at all of the features you can see, you can see things that come more from iTunes, like the star rating, and you can also see things like your cue points. Um, if you really need to get that on the go productivity, then Mixo is probably a good fit for you, especially with the, the gold tier where you can use this mobile app and, and stream and sync your library. Personally, I just like it because I will now be able to stream my DJ library and find my music very easily and not have to reorganize it in iTunes. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure you give Mixo a try. There is a seven day free trial that you can take advantage of. Um, so make sure you try that for gold. And even if you don't need all the gold features, Mixo is free to sync music um, in the ways that I mentioned. So um, definitely sign up, give it a try. I'll leave a link in the description that you can use. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Uh, leave me a thumbs up on it. Leave me a comment uh, to let me know that you liked it. That's gonna be all for this one. Until next time, 
Peace.